As machines begin to take on roles where they are required to make autonomous decisions, it is essential that they are able to resolve moral trade-offs in ways that we find acceptable. These decisions should be based on principles that are consistent, defensible, and result in outcomes that are significantly more positive than any potential negative outcomes they could have. But how do we decide on these principles? The Moral Machine is a website that we deployed uh, back in 2016. It's basically a website that generates random moral dilemmas that are faced by driverless cars. Basically, generates the modern version of the trolley problem. The trolley problem is a philosophical dilemma that asks you to imagine a trolley that is out of control and about to hit five workers on the track. However, you are standing by a switch that will redirect the trolley onto a different track where it will hit one worker. The question is, will you pull the switch to save five workers and kill one? The modern version of this problem involves an automated vehicle. Inside the vehicle is a passenger and ahead is a group of pedestrians. If the vehicle continues, it will kill the pedestrians, but if it swerves, it will kill the passenger. Additional factors can be added to the dilemma. What if the pedestrians are crossing at a red light? What if they are children or elderly? What if one is a dog? Should the autonomous vehicle sacrifice its passenger to save the pedestrians? We had over 4 million users who came to the website, who contributed to over 40 million dilemmas. And people came from all around the world, almost from every country and territory. After 18 months of the data collection, uh, we basically analyzed this data. Uh, we found that there are three uh, attributes or three things that people feel strongly about, that we should spare humans over animals. If you have the option to spare more lives over fewer lives, then we should give priority for more lives. And the third one is that priority should be given to younger uh, or the kids over adults or elderly. So somebody might say, we just want to leave these kind of ethical questions for the experts. Why would we even need to know what the public think? Why would we crowdsource that? And some may even go further and say, actually crowdsourcing this is actually uh, dangerous. But it's still, uh, I think it is important to involve uh, and, uh, the public and it's important to do crowdsourcing. But involving the public uh, has usefulness beyond reaching uh, the correct uh, or the good outcome. It has benefit of involving the public in the process that is part of the democratic process that make people feel involved in the process uh, as opposed to feeling that they are alienated uh, from making uh, these kind of decisions or from even having any say on it. While we would like to make the most out of this technology and we want to get the benefit uh, uh, of this technology and in some case, especially when this new technology is bringing uh, uh, a lot of ethical benefits, then there is uh, some argue that we have a moral obligation to have them on the streets. But if you don't uh, consider the, the other ethical aspects of these machines, then you risk ending up with this technology being worse than not having it in the first place. Learn more about the moral machine in Crowdsourcing Moral Machines, a contributed article in the March 2020 communications of the ACM.